Hi everyone, it's Annie here and I've got my lovely Matthew with me today and um, I thought I'd do a changing video it's Friday, Friday at half past 12 or just gone and um, I'm having a really busy day because we're getting ready to go to Ireland tomorrow um, so I need to get the house ready for um, Letitia and her boyfriend to come and stay the weekend because they're looking after Theo but I thought I'd do this changing video um, he's still in this lovely sleeper and he is so cuddly he's so cuddly in it, I don't want to take him out but I thought I'd put him in another outfit that Auntie Suzanne sent him um, from Australia that I've, I've been dying to kit to put on him so I'm going to take his little elephant away and um, yeah so I've had a busy week I'm back to like full time hours this week and boy do I feel it <laughs> um, it's been a quite a tough week actually because uh, as you probably know I deal with complaints um, for the bank and um, um, it, for some reason we haven't had many complaints in so and the ones we have got are really really complicated cases so um, it's taken me I mean my target is was this week was six cases this week and I've only done five so um, one of them took a whole day to do so like investigation and stuff so it's been a bit of a tough week really so uh, I always think though um, basically with targets if you hit them all the time they just put them up anyway <laughs> so uh, it's a good thing not to always hit your targets really I think but anyway so uh, so today we've got a little bit of a busy day as I said um, I've caught up with all my emails this morning and my comments on um, YouTube. So thank you everybody that's commented, uh, commented, comment, commented, yeah, commented on my videos. I've, I have tried to reply to you all. I think I have, um, but thank you. I really appreciate when people leave comments um, and nice ones as well. He's got his little roux here as well. Do you remember the little roux that I bought in the charity shop? Or oh, the the what do you call it? The um, second hand shop. So. Uh, I love him, <laughs> it's brilliant. So we're going to put um, little Matthew in, what are we going to put you in Matthew? We're going to put him in this little outfit, oh, it's so cute and it's uh, Petty Ami, um, Ami. so um, we're going to put him in this and he's got a little bonnet to go with it and I've got some little lovely socks to go with it so I think we'll put it on, which way should we put it on Matthew, should we put it on that way? Um, so I'm going to do this video and I'm going to feed him as well which I don't usually do but I thought I'd feed him today and um, do that and then we've got to go to the vets to pick up some food for my cat Theo and um, the reason I get my food from the vet is because my um, he's a he's a pedigree um, uh, what do you call it a rag doll and I used to have a pedigree colour point Persian and who suffered terribly with kidney stones and um, bladder stones eventually it sounds awful but he had to be made into a little girl cat because <laughs> it just got so serious he kept like couldn't pass water for you know several times and it's really dangerous so in the end they said the best thing to do was make take away his boy bits and give him some girl bits instead which sounds horrendous but it worked he, he you know it really works so but it's quite a pervasive operation for him, bless him. So um, I'm really careful about what Theo has because they're susceptible to the same sort of thing. Oh my goodness, doesn't this look so cute? So they're susceptible to the same thing really. So I, I get special food um, that obviously reduces the kidney stones and things. So but there he is. And I'm going to put him in his little bonnet. Oops. Oh look, oh look, how much I you do this up, I'm just going to see, oh how cute does he look, I'm just going to do a really loose, no, I'm not sure how you meant to do this up when it's like that, what should we do, let's have a go at doing it like, this, like normal, see if we can make a little bow for you, um, yeah so I've got to go to the vets and pick up his food, Oh, I think I'm just going to leave that like that for now. I think what I might do is cut these and then when I cut ribbon I burn the ends 
or, or singe, don't burn them, but singe the ends so they don't fray. Um, so that's a little trick, ladies, if you, if you, um, because ribbon tends to fray really, so you know the lighter, so as long as you don't touch, actually touch the ends of the ribbon, if you just get the lighter and, and hold the flame as close as you can to it without actually touching, it will singe the end and it will stop, it doesn't go discoloured or anything, it will just stop it fraying. So that's a little trick, so I'll do that later. That's a bit easier to do up now. There, oh, doesn't he look gorgeous? And then we're going to put some little socks on him. We've got these little socks. Can you see, is he still in view? Yeah. Um, so after I've picked the cat food up, I'm going to go and do the grocery shopping. Um, well, actually, first of all, I'm going to get some euros because we need some euros for the weekend. So I'll get them at the post office. And then I need to do some grocery shopping. Um, but I'm not getting much because I just need to get some food in for Letitia and her boyfriend, really, for the weekend. Because um, obviously we're not going to be here. So, um, and just some bits for next week for lunches and things. Oh, look at him, ladies and gentlemen, I should say. Oh, <laughs> so cute. So, um, oh, your shoes. I put these little shoes on you, wasn't I? These beautiful shoes. I love these shoes. They came off eBay. They're not too, too badly priced either, but they're so lovely. I call him these, these posh shoes, these ones. <laughs> these posh shoes. Put your posh shoes on. He's got quite a big feet, actually. Um, oh, I love his feet. We love your feet, don't we? Hey? We love your feet. So we haven't got long now to the doll show. A couple of weeks. I'm getting very excited. Although I'm not intending to spend a lot of money, but I'm looking forward to having a good look around. And uh, taking my mum, I'm going to meet Suzanne and see Tracy hopefully from Tiny Toes, hopefully, and um, Tina and Nikki, I'm going to see them, and lots of other people from that we saw last year, so I'm looking forward to that. Oh, look how cute he looks. Oh, my darling, you look so lovely. Oh, thank you, Auntie Suzanne, for this. This is lovely. So sweet. So I'm going to feed him and I bought these, um, I haven't really got a lot of, well I have, I've got a couple of boy bibs but not many. So I bought these little flannel things um, from John Lewis, pack of four. And my intention is to make some lovies out of them. I'm going to use these as backings and do some nice um, sort of a front with some embroidery and that on the front as a little lovey um, for presents for people. So I haven't got around to doing that yet but so I'm going to use one of them as a little bib for him. So we're going to put that on there. And we've got his bottle, haven't we? There we go, baby. There we are. Yeah, so um, so we've got a busy day today. Oh, and I got my nails done last night. Can you see those? I've got my nails done. Can't see. Yeah, you can. Can see. Um, they're called gel nails. And... Um, I didn't realise I'd be in there for nearly two hours last night. I didn't get home to gone eight o'clock. So, um, yeah, I had them done. I'm really, really pleased with them. And I haven't, as you know, I'm terrible. I bite my nails, so I didn't have any nail whatsoever. And she put like a, a template on my fingers and then built the gel up over them. Um, and it, they are so strong. They feel really strong. So I'm hoping they're going to last for the wedding. Yeah, so we, um, I've got a Ryan Ken shirt and get his stuff ready for to, to go tomorrow. I think we're flying at um, half past one-ish time tomorrow from Stansted Airport. Um, and it'll only be a quick journey, it's not very long to Ireland, obviously from the UK, so I think about an hour across. Um, and then we've got about an hour's drive, so we've hired a car um, from the airport to go to the venue. She's, um, it's a lovely venue where she's getting married and that's where we're staying. Um, so I intend to do some little videos over the weekend and take lots of it pictures. Um, yeah. Oh, you're a hungry boy this morning, aren't you? You are a hungry boy. Yeah. What else have I got to do today? I'm just trying to think. Pack. I was going to show you my dress that I got as well. I'll have to do that. I'll do that in a minute for you. It's a new dress. Um, I've treated myself to a new dress to go to the wedding. 
So, um, yeah, I've got to get that eye in. But I, I'm hoping there's going to be an eye. I'm sure there will be because it's a nice four-star hotel where we're staying. So there should be an eye in that there that I can quickly give it a, a once-over because it's going to get screwed up in the case. But what can you do when you're flying? You can't hang them, <laughs> hang them up. Ken's got a suit bag for his suit, but... Eh, how's that little boy? Is that enough? Yeah? That's what your little face. Let me give you a little burp, shall we? Oh, sit you up. He's a good boy. Eh? Such a good boy. Such a good boy. There you are. Now he go down for his little morning, his little early afternoon nap now. He's full of milk, aren't you? So there he is. Um, I'll get my dress out. That's right. I was going to show you my dress. Um, as I said, I don't usually buy. It's ages since I bought a new dress. Um, so it does need an iron. So be warned. <laughs> um, I've got a little jacket to go with it as well. Um, let me just. Little like a bolero to go over the top. So I'm gonna show you that quickly. Oh, and I'll show you my shoes. <laughs> I'm getting really excited. I think these are my shoes in here. Sorry, ladies. Give me a second. I should have got myself organised, shouldn't I? Oh. Right. So these are my shoes that I'm gonna wear. Aren't they pretty? Uh, they're Joe Brown shoes, so I'm wearing those. I love them, I think they're great. And then my dress, um, I was going to show you my handbag as well. That's about the handbag. I thought this handbag really goes, it's, it's big enough to get everything in, but I thought it goes really well with the, with the polka dots on the shoes. Can you see that? So that's my handbag. That I'm gonna have. It's big enough to get my camera and all my bits and pieces into their pair of stockings and all that sort of business. Um, but my dress, I'll just swing you round. I'll try and do it slowly so I don't make you giddy. Is oh there. Can you see that? So um yeah, I'm really pleased with it, and that's a little jacket, a little bolero sort of jacket that goes over it, but it's beautiful material. It's got an underskirt to it as well. It's like a like a um, taffeta and what do you call that? I forget what you call it now. You know what I mean, the netting. So uh, yeah, so that's my dress I'm going to be wearing. And my shoes and my handbag. Oh, and I've got a little fascinator as well, which um, is in here, I think. Excuse the mess now. It's all messy everywhere. I'm going to have to put you down again because I can't open that and... Oh, sorry, spinning you around everywhere. Um, this is my fascinator to match. Um, and last time I went to a wedding, I had a clip one, you know, with the little comb. Oh, and boy, did it annoy me. Um, so, because it just kept falling out of my hair. So this time I've got one with a little headband on, so it doesn't, I haven't got to mess about with it all day. And my jewellery. I'll show you that as well while we're at it. Then sort it out. Oh, what's happened to it? It's all tangled up. Oh well, I'll, I'll leave that because it's all tangled up. But that's the bracelet I've got to wear. And it is. Oh, I don't know what I've done to this now. Let me see. Matthew, what has Mummy done to this necklace? Oh well, anyway, it's like a three strand necklace. <laughs> I'll have to untangle it, but it's got a bit tangled up. But it should sit, obviously, just. Um, one below the other but I don't know what I've done with it um, I'm gonna I'll tell you what I'm gonna do I'm gonna wrap it in a bit of tissue paper I think oh here we go I've done it now I'm gonna rush it in a bit of tissue paper because then it might stop it getting tangled up on the journey so that's the necklace I'm gonna wear and obviously I've got earrings as well to match so yeah so um, um have a great weekend obviously I'm not gonna see you now to next week um, I'll try and do a video because it's bank holiday, I actually finish at four next week every day, if there's, but I haven't got a Friday off, so um, I will be finishing at four, so I can come home and do a video. I'll probably do one Tuesday to catch up with everybody. But have a fabulous weekend, and thank you Auntie Suzanne for this lovely um, outfit. I really love it, and Matthew loves it too. I'm going to put him down for his little snap now, so he can go to sleep. 
all right have a lovely weekend everyone thanks for watching love to you all bye